peeps, happy Thursday. Welcome back to the sewing room. I have a giant pile of things behind me. Seven, eight, five, seven, sevens. And then the Cobra Corsage pieces that I haven't done the twirls for yet. Today has not gone according to plan though. I was meant to be down here from about midday filming all that, chatting about it for tomorrow's video. And I haven't done that. I have done some editing, so you know, some of it's done, but I still am gonna have to come down in the morning, film all the chatty bits, and then get that edited for this afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, because I would like the Make A Dress In A Day video to go up on Friday, and I would like the review to go up on Saturday. It's gonna be a lot of 8577. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't do that. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how it comes out. And then obviously there, there'll be the hangout on Sunday. Yeah, today has definitely not been the day that I had planned, but I have come down now, which I think it's about six o'clock. What's the time? Quarter past six. Yep. <laughs> um, and I am going to set the sewing room up for cutting out configuration, because as you can see, the sewing machine, you can just see here, my baby is still out and about. So yeah, I need to pack all this down move everything around so it's in cutting configuration so I can pull out the table and get started on the knit projects. I might even, depending on how it goes, start cutting those out this evening. We shall see. Mum has been down. She has cut herself out an 8577 out of the Midnight Jardin floral fabric that James and I bought her for Christmas or birthday. I think it was Christmas quite a few years ago. She has cut it out with a half circle skirt instead of the regular skirt that comes with the 8577 because she really likes the bodice of it. But she does say she feels like she's drowning in a lot of fabric. Um. Anyway, let's get the room packed away and set up for cutting out mode and see where we go from there. Well this is very exciting. I didn't know what I wanted to do with this bit of fabric that I had left over. It's about two and a bit meters, two meters of the full length and then there's a little bit hanging off the end of the table. I was planning on doing some kind of trousers with them because I do wear these trousers constantly but I remembered that the fabric wasn't wide enough for me to be able to get the trousers and the jumper out of the yardage that I have and I was wearing one of my Deer and Doe Sorocos the other day and I thought you know what this would be awesome as a Deer and Doe Sirocco and I have enough for it because this is the only piece that I've not got laid out on the table and there is actually enough folded width to do that um, so I'm going to be making a Deer and Doe Sirocco out of this French terry, which I am very excited about because I love it. So that's awesome. And then I do have a metre and a half of the slightly larger print, which I'm going to make a Sheridan sweater out of, which I'll be able to wear over this or with other things, which is awesome. So yay. Now I've just got to get it pinned and cut out. We can do this. More good news. This is the larger scale print and the Sheridan sweater fits onto it easily, which is awesome. I have, as you guys probably know, made a, I think it was the McCaws 7634 from this fabric previously. And whilst I really like it, the cuffs are too big and the waistband is too big. So I'm thinking I'm going to, at some point, unpick those, take them in, and make that sweater a little bit more me. But in the meantime, I really, this is the one that I was wearing the other day on the hangout. It was in the in the rust colored cable knit that I got from Higgs and Higgs. It's a sweater that I really, really like. So I thought I would make this, I would use this print to make one of those because again, it would be something that I wear frequently because I do really really like this print and I really really like the sweater. The only change I'm going to make is, as I always do, make the neckband a lot thicker, like taller, because the neckband's really really small and I prefer a, a thicker neckband and I've got quite a lot of fabric here to do that with. But that's the only change I'm going to make. So I'm going to get this all pinned and cut out and then we can move on to some t-shirts. I am feeling quite productive. I have cut out a Dirindo Sirocco, a Sheridan and then two Gable t-shirts from these jerseys that I had. These are cotton jerseys. So I didn't have enough, I only ordered a meter of each of these, so I didn't have enough for a second t-shirt. I think if I'd had a meter and a half, I would have done, but I have got plenty here that I could probably do some, ah! oh no, I knew that was gonna happen. 
all of my scraps have fallen over two secs. They're precariously balanced on my coffee maker or my chop chocolate maker because I never make coffee and it is a Tassimo. So yeah, at some point, at some point I'm going to put some bundles together because there's at least sort of three bundles in there. But I did want to wait until I had completely finished sewing up, you know, all of these things in case I needed any little bits and pieces for bias binding. <laughs> just made another bid for freedom i think i'm gonna have to put it in one of these little boxes down here but i'm hoping that the jersey scraps that i've got from those two leafy prints the black and white with the birds of paradise in color and then the all over leaf one i'm hoping that i'm gonna have enough to make some underwear from that because i do need to get to some underwear this year and I have, as you guys know, quite a lot of lace and stuff up in that box up there. So that's what I'm thinking is going to happen with those scraps. I think I'm going to move the rest of these over to a box down here so that I can bundle them up into packages for you guys soon. Because it's getting to the point where, it, yeah, it, 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 it's toppling over. The pile is reached critical mass, as it were. So, yeah, I am thinking about maybe cutting out something else. I was thinking about maybe cutting out the Anna dress that I want to do from the border print. But I kind of think I want to try and make a video about the whole doing of that one. Because I think it could be quite interesting. Because it would be frank and patterning and use of an interesting print and kind of like my thought process going through it. And you guys seemed quite interested when I was talking about it in the hangout the other day. So I think I might try and do a video about that one. Maybe for the the um, jumpsuit as well. So I think I'm going to, it's half past eight. So I'm going to call it a night for now. I'm prepped for tomorrow. So all I've got to do is come down, film all of this. And then get that little bit edited for tomorrow's video to go out at five. And there's plenty of time for me to get that done. So yeah, feeling good, feeling good. And then I've got some stuff to sew on Sunday at the Hangout as well. Get the overlocker out, see how we go. Awesome. So I hope you've enjoyed the tiny little bit I filmed today. Obviously this is going to get tacked on to another day. So uh, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye. Hey peeps, happy Friday. I am in my dressing gown because... It's twirl time. I have got to put all these different pieces of clothing on, outfits, etc., and film the twirls for them for the upcoming lookbook. I want to do a review of the Vogue 8577, which hopefully you will have seen on Saturday. Hopefully you're seeing this on Tuesday. So I have my dress in a day video to finish and I need the twirl and the wrap up for that. The 8577 review of all of the dresses I've made seven in total not eight like i thought but there probably will be more and then i'm going to film the twirls for the rest of the cobra corsage stuff except for the uh, teal 9076 because the buttons still haven't arrived for that although i have had some other buttons come in so i have ordered some black shell buttons from an Etsy seller. I'm not going to tell you which one because I ordered two sets of these and I really like them so I'm going to go back and order the other two sets that she has remaining. I'm very sorry but in fact by the time you see this I'll have done that already so I will link the, <laughs> the, the name of the seller in the description down below. And then when Lorianne and Larry were here over the weekend I took them to the Stitching Elmers. We did try and go to Hevelacy's but it was shut and I think that was on the Friday but the Stitching Elmers didn't have any thing for Lorianne because she was concentrating on dressmaking Liberty fabrics and they only had the quilting cotton li Liberty fabrics but mum and I found something. Mum got a couple of fat quarters for the course that she's going to be teaching starting in September at the Stitching Elmers and I found these. They are the most beautiful buttons. They only had seven of them, so I have bought all seven of them, and that was including the one that was on the top of the tube to show it off. So they're gonna have to go, I think, on a shirt, or maybe the front of a dress, but they are so beautiful. My inner magpie was just very happy, and I had to purchase them immediately. So I did. So that is the buttons that I've had in. I have ordered some more coconut shell buttons from Etsy in a smaller size, because the ones I've got are three quarters of an inch, and I love them, but I would like some smaller sized ones for shirts, and especially for like maybe even putting the smaller ones on the cuff of a shirt with the larger ones down the front. I like that as well. So yeah, I'm gonna get the buttons put away, 
get all the twirls filmed then I can do the sit down chatty bits I've got my patreon video to do today as well lots and lots of bits and pieces to get done and lots of editing to do this afternoon because it is I have my phone 11 51 so it's not even midday yet because usually I will do kind of admin work in the morning come down here at midday and then work through sometimes till 6 sometimes till 10 depends on how involved I get in whatever I'm making but it is still before midday so let's get all those bits and pieces done so that we can then move on to getting the waffly bits done so I can move on to actual editing. Slight disaster one of the cabochons pinged off of my buttons. I do have more of these so it's not the end of the world and I can I have some E6000 so I can totally stick this one back onto the little post that is still the button and still kind of functions as a button but yeah <laughs> I was just doing uh, doing it up and doing bing I was like ah no so yeah I need to fix that in a little bit. I love this dress. I think this is still to date one of the most expensive dresses I've ever made I think think so many dresses i have finished i have filmed everything i needed to film fingers crossed it's come out okay because otherwise i'll be back down here this after well later on this afternoon refilming it but i think I, I think it's okay i never script videos because i don't do well i'm not i'm not an actor i wouldn't be able to read a script and make it look natural i kind of sit down beforehand think about the points that I want to try and hit and then go through them. It's sometimes why when I'm doing my videos like suddenly towards the end I'll be like oh I meant to tell you about this and sometimes the cutting and like rearranging of clips and stuff can sometimes be a bit weird but it's usually because my little brain's just being like don't forget you wanted to say this. It's like oh yeah yeah yeah. So um yeah I think I think I've done all right today though. I think I've done okay. It's been really interesting putting all these dresses on and finding out all these different things in the pocket. There was some makeup in one, there was a f face mask in another, lots of clean tissues, clean tissues. But yeah these giant pocketses are very very useful. We like the giant pocketses. This looks weird. <laughs> so I am going to head back up to the main house. I'm going to leave this here for now and come back for all these clothes a little bit later because uh, heavy. I'm gonna go head up to the main house and get the editing done for today and tomorrow's videos and then carry on editing the waffles for Tuesday because you're seeing this on Tuesday. So I hope you enjoyed the videos over the weekend. There was a lot of them. There's a lot of me all in one go. So there was a video Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. A waffle uh, hangout on Sunday. That's a lot of me. Hope you enjoyed it. Anyway uh, I'm gonna stop actually waffling now I've started it's one of those ones where you like floodgates open and you can't stop yourself so I am going to stop myself and I am going to go and do some editing after I've had some lunch because hungry right food good morning lovely peeps happy Sunday welcome back to the sewing room I'm down here ready for the hangout which is going to be happening in 24 minutes although that would mean that I was on time and we all know I'm usually a bit early I have on my dear and doe magnolia the short one with the full circle skirt and the fluttery sleeves. I really love this dress. It's very comfortable. The kind of pattern skims and then you can cinch it with this waist tie if you want to or then tie it at the back and you can obviously loosen this if you've had a larger dinner. So yeah this is very comfortable to wear so I'm enjoying it and I am Again, really glad that I made two of these. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here for you. I'm very glad that I decided that I wanted the best of both worlds rather than just making the maxi evening gown that would have been worn maybe once or twice a year. Anyway, right, so I need to eat something because I am hungry and I'm gonna try not to eat on stream because it's just happy, like me making happy, happy food noises. So yeah, I'm gonna get that done. Oh, my coconut shell buttons arrived, the smaller size. So I have some Didi ones as well as my giant ones, which is awesome. And again, I will link the Etsy store in the description down below. So uh, yeah, let's eat something, get set up and then start possibly cutting out some projects today. I was going to sew the knit projects that I'd done already, but when I came down and reorganised the sewing room from filming so that mum could actually use it for sewing because I thought she was coming down here for sewing and um, I put it back together for cutting out not for sewing so never mind I'll start the knit projects tomorrow it'll be fine later it is much later on in the day I had a really lovely hangout with the peeps four hours of waffle and cutting out and I managed to cut out a 9328 a Anna 
bodice, no, and a dress, no, and a top, words, words hard, and a sleeveless 9006, all out of the same fabric, which is this one back here, black and white palm leaf print. I was initially going to do the 7945, the McCall 7945 with it, which I do really, really like, and I do want to do at some point in the future, but that fabric is very sheer and needs lining, and that dress the whole point of that dress is that it's one layer that you don't have to wear a slip under and you can put it on in hot weather yeah this was not the right fabric for it which is a shame but never mind never mind i am very much looking forward to the dresses that or the dress and the two tops that i've got cut out of this one the reason i cut two tops was because i had the fabric to do it and the i know obviously the anna top i love and i know it fits me the 9006 the sleeveless one i've not made yet and that one is all cut on the straight of grain so i wasn't 100 percent convinced that i'm going to be able to get it on and off over my boobs because i have added shaping in at the waist because otherwise it was straight up and down which is not my favorite as you guys know that one is going to be an experiment it might I might be able to get away with it by putting like a little side zip in that might allow me to get it on and off i can also put a center back zip in the way that the back is finished it wouldn't go all the way up to the neckline it would have to be one of those zips that sort of starts like here and goes down just below the waist just so that i can get it on and off and then close it up I think because then you'd end up with the little pull hanging i think it would probably be better as a side zip and we all know how i feel about side zips dress as well it's going to be an experiment i think i'm going to like it i had the fabrics you know there was enough fabric to do something like that with it so yeah i'm glad i'm glad that i um ended up picking that one because there was some we we're going to maybe do a doris dress or then there was going to be some other dresses but i do think that the 9328 is going to be nice i do need to buy some more viscose for lining the 10 meters that i bought has gone <laughs> completely i do have three meters of viscose back there but i really really want to use that to make the 9345 pirate sleeved you know big billowy sleeved shirt i'm going to fully line that one so i think i'm going to need all three meters of that viscose because the sleeves on that shirt are giant and like i say i'm going to i want to fully line it because i don't like the kind of revere notched collars because the, the facing pieces for those are quite large and under a white with a fairly semi sheer not see-through but a fabric that is kind of sheer I much prefer it to be fully lined so that you can't see anything I know that's overkill for a shirt it might look ridiculous I'm willing to experiment so I'm going to experiment so we'll see how that one goes um, but yeah it's been a really nice day I've had a very very nice day I'm gonna pack up down here now though I have got a whole bunch of stuff that needs to be cut out got the melly low shirt which is going to be cut out of let's show you so i've got this stuff which i got from the textile center it's a viscose linen and i have five meters of this i'm going to make an eve dress with it because i do really like this print and then with what i've got left i'm going to try the melly low shirt because i think that it's going to look really cool in this print i hope it's going to look really cool in this print and because I'm going to have an Eve dress from the print, I'm going to have something that I know I love, so I'm willing to experiment with the remainder of the fabric. I'm going to do a Matilda dress out of this one. I think I told you guys all this last week, didn't I? But, you know, never mind. I'm telling you again. Yeah, Matilda dress out of this banana leaf cotton that I got from Spotlight. And I've seen somebody else make this dress up in the green version of this, so I know that it looks awesome. At some point, I need to start on my Recreate the Look video for the Rixo dress using these two prints and the French poetry loon dress but that is going to be a standalone video so I'm not gonna start that today I have got a deadline for that one though an arbitrary deadline that I gave myself but yeah so that's those ones green viscose jersey for some t-shirts this is the stuff I got from Natida, so I'm going to do a three-quarter circle skirt if there's enough of this, or some kind of button-up front skirt, a button-up front shirt. I've got leftover Dolce & Gabbana banana leaf print from my dress and also my brother's shirt that Big Bird made for him, so there's quite a lot here, so I'm fingers crossed I can get the 9345 out of it. And then this is the, the cream-coloured viscose that I want to use for the basic 
billowy sleeve shirt but again I want to do a whole series of make the basics because as you guys know I have a lot of print in my wardrobe and a lot of over the top statement things and I do need some basics to wear some of the stuff that I've been making with so a white shirt is definitely one of them so that's what this is going to be although technically it's cream so that's going to be a video a true bias shelby dress in the artistic vibrance i'm going to make this up for the release of the stranger things finale which is at the beginning of july so there's a deadline for this one as well and again i'm going to do a making of video and then my border print cotton sateen i want to make a jumpsuit out of and I need to get some lining for this because the cream side of this pattern is sheer enough that without a lining it will just be a hello here is my knickers situation which I don't want and then the final one is another border print and it's going to be the by hand London Anna and I'm going to use the border print like this so have the print at the top and also the bottom of the skirt and again that's going to be hopefully a standalone video about working with border prints i'm sure i've told you all this i think i went through all this in the hangout last week didn't i but then if you don't watch the hangouts then you didn't know all that so there's an imp in impromptu what i'm going to be sewing this month video <laughs> and uh that's the stuff that i've got cut out already so i've got seven projects cut out so far i'm going to try and get three more done i'm thinking the cream shirt the banana leaf shirt and then the by hand london anna border print dress i think i'm going to work on those three getting those three cut out tomorrow so that i can start sewing on tuesday nothing here is too difficult like the four knit projects i should be able to get those done in a day then i will have one two three four tops to do and two dresses hopefully that's doable the by hand london ah there we go yes i was thinking i was trying to think earlier what video i was going to put out for friday my proper video for friday and it's going to be the by hand london and a border print dress working with a border print and pattern hacking because it's going to be a pleated and gathered skirt as well excellent i do love hanging out with you guys you give me the best ideas so on that note i've waffled at you for nearly 10 minutes so <laughs> i'll shut up i hope you've enjoyed the last couple of days of waffle it's been a really lovely weekend i am very much looking forward to getting started on all this tomorrow so uh, yay i will say goodnight to you now and i'll see you all tomorrow mm -hmm.